Hello, brother. Welcome back to another Brood War ladder battle. We've got Quickly here in the top right-hand corner versus Hero. I kind of just wanted to see some Hero games. Not gonna lie to you. And I heard this was a great game. Played very recently on the ladder here just in the past few days. And uh, Hero, just, just a great player, man. So glad to see him doing well in 2024. Um, had the pleasure of watching him in person at the ASL recently. I didn't get his autograph, but I did get Snow's autograph. The only reason was because the line to go get Hero's autograph was so long. That is how much he is loved over there in that country. And I think abroad as well. Just a uh, fantastic Zerg player. Um, puts out some really great games, especially in this matchup too. So I'll be watching his play very closely here. An overpool from him. Nothing unexpected there. And quickly, I don't really know anything about this guy. I'm really here for Hero, so you know who I'm cheering for. But let's see if he can put out a good game for us here. Cross map with a gateway first. Quickly going to scout down towards the bottom right. I don't think he's going to be able to block the hatch. He might just barely be able to do it. Let's see if he can get over here in time. No, he actually went all the way into the main, so... Um, he's definitely not going to be able to get over here and block this. If he just checked the natural and headed down to the bottom left, he might maybe have been able to, but then you're running the risk of maybe there's a 9 pool down in the bottom right. So he's just going to send that. And uh, yeah, we're going to have the hatchery here at the natural. Everything well and good so far. I'm curious to see where Hero will take this next hatchery. Fighting Spirit is the map, so you guys know it, you love it or you hate it. Depends on your race, I suppose, or how long you've been playing this game. I feel like most of the veteran players, the people who've been around for a long time, generally tend to hate this map, but... Um, that's just me. I, I really do not like this map at all. Uh, maybe that's maybe that's just me now. Um, we've got the third base over here at Six o'clock. So this is what I was wondering. Where is he gonna be taking his third base? He might have I think he might have taken it here um, He might have taken it here. This is also a pretty reasonable base to take But taking it down at six o'clock is interesting now heading across the map He's gonna deal some damage to this pylon but a single Zealot making its way over towards this main base. Might be able to get some damage here. We'll see. Do we have any Lings popping? We do have one more set. So he will have four Lings back at home ready to deal with this. Fifth Ling here as well. So he's actually going to be able to hold off this uh, little Zealot pressure. No problem. So the cute little run around here from quickly. Not really going to get him too much damage. Two more Zealots going to make their way forward. He's going to spot those with his overlord and will build some more links. But so uh, right now, building that Hydralis den, he's going to have to get rid of the Zealot as quickly as he can and make sure not to let it run into the main base. Letting the Zealot into the main base would be catastrophic here. You do not want to allow the Protoss player to find out about your tech here. You do not want to reveal that Hydra den just yet. Putting two zealots on this ramp. Making it a little hard here for Hero. Um, starting up speed now. I think he's going to run in with this. He's going to run into the main base with this. While the zealots are hitting this. This is a really great play by Quickly. Going to go ahead and get the scouting information off here, I think. Oh, he's got to run into the main in order to get it, though. The two zealots hiding behind the mineral patches. Dude, this is so annoying. I often fall apart to this type of play. It's just incredibly frustrating. Wow, that drone didn't die. That was really, really close. Might die to the uh, probe here, though. Oh, he lost it. Damn. And there it is, scouted. Really unfortunate here for Hero. He's been completely scouted. Nothing he can do about it now. We'll start to make some Hydras. Extra cannons on the way, or just the first cannon actually is on the way now. He'll probably throw down a couple more here as the Hydra start to pop out. I would definitely want to throw down a second cannon for sure. 
But he hasn't thrown down his, um... Yeah, he didn't put down his Stargate here. He just went for plus one. That is interesting. That is very interesting. A couple of Hydras do pop out. It seems like... I don't know. I think that we're going to see a transition here from Hero. Not going to put on too much pressure with this. And that's pretty good for quickly. Because he's only added one. Just one. Um cannon here at the front zealot in the main did come down to the natural it's got one kill on it i assume that's a ling might be a drone i'm not sure drones are popping out on mass here for hero he managed to clear out the the zealots down at the bottom right as well so no pressure on the map right now and he sees everything in the main base it's gonna be a four gateway follow-up from quickly he's gonna be spamming out a ton of zealots with that speed Plus one gonna come up pretty soon. The second cannon at the front, but he's not really gonna splurge too much on these cannons. Instead, focus on building up a huge zealot count here really, really fast. Fourth hatchery gonna spawn here over at the natural. We should see him go up to five hatch pretty fast. You can't really handle um, a Protoss player on anything less than five hatches. You just need that larva, so. He's going to keep making Hydras here. Has gone up to that 27 drone count. Third cannon going up at the front. But again, he's not going to worry about cannons too much. He might even cancel this. We're so close to that speed finishing. And when speed's done, this massive number of Zelt... Whoa! Guns down that Hydra right away. And just going to back up behind this wall. Really well done by Quickly there. Zelt speed about to finish as these next three zealots pop oh it's only three gateway play and he did go for a stargate i thought that was another gateway actually so looks like one of these is gonna go down he's got two gateways here at the front or in the main base uh we're super super close now for uh to this uh speed there it is speed finishes plus one's done he's gonna come running out here that's a little bit too many hydras and it's been non-stop hydra production from hero you can see he's still on about 26 27 drones <clears throat> now dropping down to 25 as he adds more hydra or more um hatcheries here and grabs an evo chamber as well gonna keep up on those upgrades although they are a tiny bit behind maybe he can gun down this forge potentially can he actually get that looks like not unless he wants to dive on the cannons here Three more gateways in production. We are going to get a bunch more zealots out here soon. He scouted everything. He sees the lair. He sees the extra hatches. He sees no second gas here. So there's not a lot of tech coming out right now for Hero. He's mostly just building drones and hydras. He's got the plus one, of course. Hatcheries also coming up. Six hatch hydra going to be the follow up here. Zealots are trying to run around right now, but smartly here, Hero going to block that off. Now, the best thing to do, send Zealots out the other direction, and that's exactly what Quickly has realized here. As soon as an opening presents itself, he's going to get out on that map. And he will manage to send two different sets of Zealots out to begin this harassment. This could be bad. He might end up losing a lot over here. Hero is worried about this attack right now he's not focused on this he's gonna bring his whole army down here and that could open up another position for these zealots to attack into um a few drones go down over here the hydras make their way over but there's not enough over at the natural now lings are gonna have to fight okay this is a pretty decent wall right now a really decent wall but zealots are gonna run forward Getting on top of everything, he's going to run for the ramp. Ramp is a good spot to drone drill, but he doesn't have the drones coming. Drones are not coming here. Zealots will get up this ramp. He's going to have to slowly back off while keeping the damage coming here. You do not want to allow these zealots into the main with high HP. Looks like with that damage coming through, zealots will end up getting finished off as they run around in the main, just buying a little bit of time. 
maybe he's going to try and take a third base here. He's pulled the Hydras all the way back into the base. And meanwhile, big drones popping out here from Hero. As his plus one finishes up, we've got Storm now. It's about time to take this third base here. Oh, a drop as well. Okay, very smart stuff here from Quickly. Recognizing the, the state of the game, that there wasn't a, a Spire at the early stages, but there is a Spire now, and Scourge are coming out here. Will he be prepared for a drop? Will he have Scur Scourge in position? If I know Hero, he probably will. Well, he's sending the Scourge out on the map now, so maybe not. That drop is coming in here towards that main. It gets spotted. This is a big moment. He's going to go ahead and drop Zealots into the main base. Let's see what they can do. Four Zealots here ready to run into the natural potentially. Hydras are making their way back. Maybe he can stop the Hydras a little bit. Slow them down? No, he's just going to run in. Where are those Scourge? Okay, picking up the Zealots. Going to try and drop them into the main as well. Where are the Scourge? Okay, they're just kind of sitting out here on the other side of the map. Well, this is this is fine, right? We do lose four Zealots. We might end up losing the shuttle as well. But we got the third base online without any scrapes here. We kill off a few Hydras. Nothing too, too terrible here for the Protoss player. And that third base online really nice and smoothly. Fourth, gonna come up here for Hero. And let's see what Hero can do to counteract this. Is he just gonna go straight up into Hive? 15 more drones on the way, guys. Going up to, what's this gonna be, 60 drones? Damn, that's a lot of drones, man. Holy hell. Look at all those drones popping out here. Lurkers are on the way. His army is not too scary right now. That's quite a lot of Hydras. But with the Storms and Dragoons and Rallies of Zealots, it's pretty scary until you have Lurker. You need to get some Lurkers out on the field, and that's exactly what he's doing. Putting down some Spores over here, too, and a couple of Lurkers at this area is going to help out a lot. Um, we're going to go into late game here, guys. Four base is going to come up here shortly for quickly, unless Hero has something to say about it. He's sending some Hydras and the Lurkers around the side of the map, but... Oh, I thought quickly was going to cut this off, but he's not. That's unfortunate. If he ca catches this army, this base might end up going up. But as it stands, he's sending the army southward. And this small Hydra Lurker force is actually going to get up on this high ground, deny this base which is pretty painful right now for quickly and you can just see how close he was to catching that army moving uh the north uh, moving up north there really really unfortunate for him he's gonna move towards the rally point now heading over here with just two observers let's see what he can do no zealots in this army just pure dragoon and Two Templar with about two, maybe three storms. Two storms apiece. Kaedrin amulet. Kaedrin. Ka what is it? Kaedrin. Kaedrin. Kaedrin amulet. The amulet is on the way. He's about to get the amulet. And with that, he'll have three storms apiece. And that is a big, big power spike in terms of the Protoss army. If you can get the storms off, of course. If you get sniped it really doesn't matter but as long as you get the the shots off that you need absolutely big 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 uh the big storms huge huge rally point here from hero as he goes up into hive he has that triple upgrade coming he's really getting into his comfort zone now and i'm worried oh there's the snipe gets a snipe on one of those templar that is huge Great storm there, at least. Dealing a lot of damage. Not a lot of zealots here, though. Trying to get up uh, to that top left. A lot of dragoons here, but where are the storms? We've got, what, two storms here in the back? Um, dragoons are really clearing out a lot of this, and the lurkers are just kind of sitting here in a long line. Um, I kind of like the positioning here for quickly as he shoves forward. But where are the storms now? He needs them for the the Hydra. Hydra's getting stormed pretty brutally. Few Dragoons do go down, and this base finishes up. 
a fourth base is complete here quickly if he takes this uh it's a potential like mine out situation you can get into a really nasty late game uh with the protoss player taking uh five bases you know another main base uh, on this map in particular on fighting spirit if they get this set up with uh templar and potentially reavers oh my god the game becomes at least 30 minutes long at least 30 minutes and we're at 15 minutes right now so you know that's pretty ridiculous we're not even halfway done this game if he gets this up just that all he needs to do is get that up and now we have an insane late game we love to see it hero the longer this game goes the more i favor him however because of how powerful he is in the late game. I'll withhold judgment for now, but I assume that he's gonna be able to take this one if it goes to like uh, 35, 40 minutes long. He should be able to out macro, outplay. However, he's kind of getting uh, outmaneuvered here right now. Oh gosh, a lot of Zerg units are gonna have to come up here. So many storms are available. Everything running up and just getting slaughtered right now. Oh my god, brutal storms here, just killing off so many units. He's sniping down a lot of these Templar, but the storms are just insane and the hatchery falls. Dragoons are gonna make a run for the high ground here. Unfortunately, Ling's up there on that high ground means that most of these dragons will probably end up falling. And with the Ling rallies here, it looks like indeed that will be the case. Time to switch into Reaver, I think. This is the moment. Right as you lose your whole Dragoon army, I think you switch into Reaver. Build a Robotics here. Start building Reavers. Get that Robotics uh, support bay. Um, yeah, the whole army just went down. That is, that is a big moment here. Wow, a lot of Lurkers being made here. But the Zealots are already present. They might be able to push onto these Lurkers as they're morphing. That is a ton of Lings. They have some great upgrades as well. Plus one, plus one, but it's two, two on these Zealots. So they're doing very, very well for themselves against all of these links. Great storm on the eggs. Does he have the follow-up though? We need one more storm on each of these egg clumps. If he wants to take this out, no. Zealots will have to retreat away from these lurkers. Dude, that's such a clump of lurkers here, but not able to get the big storms to finish off that huge, huge morph of lurkers and so quickly we'll have to retreat once again is this the robo yes it is robo here on the way at the bottom right lurkers pushing forward where is the defiler four of them in the production tab right now those defilers will be hitting the field here in short order do we have plague that'll be the next order of business here for our Zerg player to start whipping out plagues all over the place. Start to really just, just cut through the Protoss armor with that plague. One storm down here is available, but there's a plague coming up. If you brought a bunch of Lings and the Defiler down here, I don't know if uh, Quickly could hold on to that. Just one storm is not going to be enough to waves of uh, Lings coming down, but Right now, Hero is contesting, uh, having to contend here with this uh, army that's pushing forward. Dark Swarms need to come out in order to hold this fresh base here in the top left. Great Storm comes down to get rid of that first Defiler, but we've got plenty of Defilers behind this and Plague is just about done. This massive army moving through the middle of the map is going to rotate back towards the... Uh, rally point here and once again so many eggs being morphed right here can he get on top of this with the storms this storm could be insane oh my goodness he's not quite able to get the storm that he was looking for to kill all of these lurkers but that's another great storm all the lurkers are really getting stuck on top of each other dude that's so much damage a great plague goes down on a lot of these dragoons and now quickly is actually in full retreat mode as the lings come forward here a lot of this army is gonna get swallowed up great storms there just trying to hold everything back but 
More and more lings coming forward. Ooh, another great storm. Softening up all these lings. Making them like one or two shots away from death here by the Dragoons. Dude, Quickly is a serious player, man. This guy is standing toe to toe against Hero in the late game. It is impressive. The rotations were really crisp and getting on top of the rally point, getting the storms down. If he had gotten storms just a little bit closer to the rally, he could have gotten like big groups of lurkers, you know, four, five, six lurkers with two storms. Would have been very, very cost efficient. Now it's Hero's turn finally to try and attack a base. He hasn't been on the aggressive for some time now. And Reavers are starting to push up here towards 12 o'clock. Can he break bottom right? Here we go. A lot of lurkers here. They're going to set up. And the Hydras and the Defilers are starting to push forward here. There's the Dark Swarm. Plague? No plague here. Reavers are going to be holding off everything, at least for now. As this reaver pushes up towards the 12 o'clock, a dark archon in the mix right now. You'll love to see it. Ooh, a nice plague. Getting one of those reavers and the nexus here. Some of the cannons as well. The reavers just clearing out so many units. So many links coming forward here. Here we go. Running right into this bottleneck choke right now. Storms are going to be so, so useful, but... He's actually out of storms at the moment. The entire Protoss army has come down to try and assist this location. Can he actually save this base? He's going to make it here just in time. But the Nexus looks like it'll be going down. Targeting that, in fact, Hero takes out the Nexus. But loses his whole army in the process. And I think it'll be easy for this base to be reestablished now. However, Hero... Could come up and reclaim this 12 o'clock during uh, during this time. He's going to come through the back way here in order to attack 12. Let's see if he can take this out. Storms are going to come down on some of these Hydras, but that is just way too many Lings and Hydras. He will overwhelm this position. Going to keep that away from Protoss for now. Now, Protoss can still win, even with just this base and this base. Um, they don't need to have this base. You can be one base ahead as Zerg and still mine out faster than the Protoss player because they can be so cost efficient. Not the Dark Archon here. Where are the Defilers? All right, coming forward with a single Reaver. That's a lot of Hydras to deal with. There's not enough Storm in the mix right now. The Templars are going to be run down. The Reavers, same goes for them. Reaver goes down here. Running forward against these Hydras. The Archon's going to body block a lot of that stuff and keep the most important units alive. But great snipes there in some of the Archons. That's exactly what you want to do. Run forward, snipe down an Archon or a Templar uh, or a Reaver. Any of those are great targets. And then back away. Wait for the overwhelming number of units. To where you can completely surround and swallow up this Protoss army. And he's looking to do that now with huge groups of units. Actually heading down towards bottom right. Can he actually get in here? Two Reavers once again. Uh, I don't know if they have that Reaver damage. Let's see. No, no Reaver damage here. Great storm on a lot of these Lings. Oh my god. The Lings just getting smashed. Here comes a big plague on some of these Reavers coming up now. Where's the storm? There's the storm. Dealing a huge amount of damage. Tremendous damage on a lot of these Lurkers. And it appears that Quickly is going to hold this position. Nicely done. Very nicely done there. Reinforcing this spot just in the nick of time. Now, this is a much less well-defended base uh, after that attack, of course, we've got the Plague, which just brings the Reavers within spitting distance of a kill, so... Or spitting distance of being killed, is what I mean. So, he's got to be really careful. He's tucking them in the back now. I like that spot here, but he's... Oh, wait, he's going to bring them with the army? 
He really does need Reavers down here to help defend. Um, you can't just leave that base uh, to only cannons and hope to, to hold that location, but maybe he thinks that he's got to take a risk here. Wait for the Reaver to pop out. And while that's building, he's going to try and push over here towards 12 o'clock. Bring the Reavers up. Oh my goodness, he's going to get huge hits here. Really great hits with these Reavers, taking great trades there. Meanwhile, in the middle of the map, throwing down a bunch of additional storms. I think that was a mistake. Maybe a little bit of a misclick there. Reavers doing a great job. Ooh. Managing to keep both of those alive. That is crazy. Way more units coming up right now from Hero. Still a pretty sizable army on the side of Hero right now. But he's going to lose both of his Reavers. That's painful. Those two Reavers going down there. Really, really sucks right now for Quickly. Quickly moving forward here against all of these Lurkers. Can he break through? He's got DTs in the mix now, too. These DTs are going to go unscouted for a while. Great storm in the middle of all those lurkers. Really fantastic battling here from Quickly. And the DTs are going to take the day right now. They're actually dealing so much damage. Okay, finally, an Overlord makes its way up here. And he will win out. Dude, that was really, really close. A crazy close battle there. But he manages to hold this area, Hero, keeping control here in the middle of the map and quickly is starting to run dry. We are getting a little bit dry here. We're still on three base for now. Quickly going to start to move towards the middle of the map, thinking that if he can't take the 12, maybe he can hold mid, which is a big ask. But he's still got some time to make that happen. It's not like he's got to get it right now or he's going to lose. Still a lot of money on the field for Hero. He hasn't even mined this out yet. Center left. Got a lot of mining going in the top left and the top center. But he's doing a good job mineral smoothing to make sure he's gone like four or five bases for the longest amount of time possible. In fact, his natural is still mining as well, which is kind of crazy. Oh my gosh. The storms here could be insane, but it looks like he misses for the most part. Maybe he lost his uh, observer? No, the observer's there. If he could just get that, that clump right there, that's, what, six lurkers for two storms? That would be insanely valuable, but he kind of misses out on that opportunity. Making dragoons again? I don't know about this. I feel like you have to go commit fully into Archon uh, Reaver Zealot at this point, but he's gonna make a few of these Dragoons. A little bit interesting. Battling here with the Archon. Archon's so powerful in these late game situations. When you've got Protoss on this many gases, the number of Archons that they can field is kind of crazy. One drone here in the middle of the map. Maybe an afterthought by Hero thinking, huh, I might, might be able to take this middle. Not going to be the case. Another huge army moving around this force. I never saw what happened with the Dark Archon. Maybe it got picked off a little bit earlier. Bringing out a probe and two Reavers here to reinforce this. Um, another three Templar making their way up here. He's got to be careful with that shuttle. Does drop out the Templar. Gonna go ahead and lay down the storms here. But Plague goes down on a lot of this. And the re the uh, Dragoons aren't gonna end up going down. The Reavers as well getting targeted here from the south. It feels like Hero is just kind of outplaying. Just a little bit. Uh, just barely enough here. Quickly. To the point where Quickly won't be able to come out and take this middle uh, base. That's the way it feels right now, anyway. More and more Lurkers coming out here. We are starting to lean heavily into that Archon Zealot. Reavers are the last part of that puzzle. Coming up now. Or a Storm Drop. Can we get big kills on these drones? It's looking good. A few more big kills there. Another Storm goes down. Not able to get that last Storm on uh, squarely on the, the drones here, but he's gonna try and maneuver for another big 
Uh, storm drop. Can he get it? Oh, really nice one there. 13, 17 kills. Oof. Okay, maybe he can do this now. Oh, another great storm there. Damn. That's a lot of kills. Holy, but still 53 workers. I don't think you build any more drones. 53 is more than enough. Um, since we're starting to mine out now. You don't want to mine out too, too quickly. Big drop going into the bottom right at the moment. That's, uh, that's a little bit funny though. You're gonna drop bottom right, but that base is nearly mined out. Uh, the center I think is much more of a problem here and maybe with all of those units being sent to bottom right, this drop coming in could be successful. Oh, he kills both the Templar, quickly not paying attention to that. He could have gotten massive damage with those two storms, but uh, maybe he quickly can get in here and actually kill the upper left. If he kills the upper left, I think he's fine just holding right here. Oh, wow, he's actually out of minerals right now. He's got 1,800 in the bank and that is it. So really quickly, this is the perfect time for Hero to have broken this base. Um, it was gonna be the last mining base here for quickly. However, we're losing the upper right. We still have top center. A lot of lurkers up there. Maybe with just one base mining, he uh, Hero can do it. Let's find out. Running up this ramp here. He's gonna get to the top left. We need to see actually a shuttle pick up a probe or a handful of probes and bring them up here. Because if we can get probes up here, and start building ba a base up here. We could get some mining going in the top left. I know it sounds funny, but we've traded out so much. And, you know, Hero's taken over this. This is kind of worthless. This is really not worthwhile. I mean, it's still kind of worth it. Even this mineral patch is 300 minerals, but... Um, there's still some good minerals over here. That you could totally mine from. This, of course, is fantastic mining here for Hero, but one base, can Hero do it? Can he make it happen? You're gonna be less cost efficient than the Protoss, no matter what you do. Still 700 minerals in the bank. I would make all Templar at this point. Um, you're always gonna have more gas. Coming through the middle here. How's this fight gonna go? Big zoom out right now because we rarely get an opportunity like this. Beautiful storm on this right hand side. Another great storm right there. The lurkers are getting mopped up right now and dude, quickly, is he gonna do it right now? The Archon's just crushing face against all of these lings and he pushes him back into the natural hero. That was his last army. Well. He still has some defenses over here at the 12, but he's gonna bring all of that together to try and halt the base in the center of the map. Can he do it? Can he pincer this army and break the position here quickly? Moving around, but we're gonna have to go big screen mode right now. Archon getting taken out on the backside. Everything moves northward and clears out these lurkers and the lings get slaughtered by the storm on the bottom side quickly is looking like he might have just done it here. GG is called, Hero taps out. What a game, what an insane game here between Quakely and Hero. Very impressive stuff from this Protoss player and I gotta say, that drop in the bottom right. What was Hero thinking, man? This was just about mined out, I guess as the Zerg player that is the problem, right? You just don't know how much minerals or how many minerals are left over at this base. But if he had just maintained the game state with this mining, this mining, and this mining for a little bit longer, he might have been able to win this game. But with the base trade, with, you know, fighting here, dropping here, and losing the upper left, it was just enough of a momentum switch for quickly to take this game back into his own hands to roll through that army of hero and hero not willing to fight it out in that super super late game he still had some mining up here and quickly hadn't broken that base yet so he probably could have stayed in it would have been hard to mine here in the middle 
but it seemed with this army, you know, you've got five Archons here. It's so hard to kill, or six Archons here. It's so hard to kill every single, all, all of these. They're just so tanky and the Lings are just not going to do it. So Hero ends up tapping out a great game here for this daily dose of Brood War. Guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.